friends welcome uh, back again and uh, today uh, we are going to learn something about you know we're talking about soil something about soil formation how soils are formed because uh, we talked about you know what is soil soil physical chemical and biological property that means properties of soils today a small section of this would be you know uh, how soils are formed because we talked about so many things so we'll have uh, now um, we'll learn about this so um, in this uh, uh, section when soil is found with the process no, no soil genesis genesis means formation of soil so what is soil genesis if i ask you then probably you would answer sir the process of soil formation is called as soil genesis because genesis is the formation so as you know one inch of soil takes millions of years so it is a complex process which takes hundreds of years to form one inch of soil and soil formation depends upon several factors i think you know you might have read about or you are going to learn you know soil formation is the function of you know climate organisms relief or topography parent materials and time you know all these factors you know what i mentioned there are five climate then organisms these two are called as active factors because they act on the uh, uh, surface and relief or uh, topography altitude of the place then parent materials are better what is there and time these are all passive factors so uh, who gave you the concept of soil genesis you know hans jenny you know an eminent soil scientist from switzerland so he gave the concept of soil formation so now from this you what you learned what is soil genesis and what are those active and passive factors of soil formation and there are five factors that actually uh, uh, soil formation is a function of these five factors so um, the soil is formed you know through interaction of these five factors climate parent material vegetation and animal life really for topography and time and the climate or organic vegetation as i mentioned the active forces of soil formation and their effects are direct and more remarkable in comparison to the impact of really parent materials and time are relatively less apparent and called that's why passive factors so soil formation begins how soils are formed in the process you know beginning it begins with the process of you know weathering so do you know what is weathering so weathering is the process of transformation of rocks and minerals into soil so you know the rocks and minerals that is geology so from there start the soil science after the transformation of rocks and minerals into soil so and the process is known as weathering and it's broadly categorized into what is chemical and physical weathering which takes place simultaneously on the parent materials or bedrocks and during soil formation different you know differences among these horizons developed differences and i means because unless otherwise there is no horizon you cannot call the soil the profile the horizons as i mentioned in the first class o horizon a horizon b horizon so after the soil is formed the horizon starts so do you know what are those different types of uh, weathering so one is physical another is chemical weathering and in physical weathering uh, let's talk about freezing and thawing so as uh, water freezes it expands and the moisture shifts into the rocks before winter and when water freezes and drives the rock apart because at, as water freezes you know it expands so when what that water go, goes into the cracks in the rocks when it you know freezes it expands so put enormous pressure on the rock surface you know internal surface and breaks into a part and uh, that is one physics one process is fizzing and thawing that is the physical weathering another physical weathering is process is heating and cooling you know heating and cooling so alternate heating and cooling or uh, no, no differential heating and cooling of rocks due to different minerals composition because rocks composition are not similar you know the different rocks and minerals so 
uh, uh, so they get heated, you know, a different time, and uh, the retention of heat also are different. So due to this process, you know, uh, which can cause rocks to break and fracture in different small pieces. Next is just like heating and cooling, another is wetting and drying. The frequent wetting and drying of the rocks to precipitation, that means rainfall, and coupled with drying by wind and sun leads to rapid breakdown of the rocks. Then root wedging, so plant root also, they put a lot of pressure on that because you might have seen, you know, there are so many plants on uh, trees and the rocks. So these roots actually, they, uh, you know, goes into the rocks and, you know, cracks them, you know, uh, in search of water and nutrients and further expand and uh, they cause, you know, breaking down of the rocks. So if I ask you what is physical weathering, how many are there? So physical with the action of this water and wind and we got freezing and thawing, heating and cooling, wetting and drying, root wedging. So these are four and I also mentioned you this. So next is chemical weathering. In chemical weathering, one is hydrolysis, means hydrolysis, you know, hydro means it's water, involvement of water in this. So it's made hydrolysis occurs when primary minerals react with water to form other products. And next is carbonation. So removal of rock in solution by acidic rainwater, in particular limestone, is weathered by rainwater containing dissolved carbon dioxide and the carbonic acid formed after reaction of water and carbon dioxide. That, that carbon dioxide, you know, which forms carbon dioxide, that dissolves the rock. So this is one type of chemical weathering. Next is hydration. It is the chemical combination of water with another substance and the hydrated substance so different physical and chemical properties. Next is oxidation and reduction. The process of oxidation means loss of electrons or reduction of the gain of electrons in various compounds found in the rocks and, and change from one form to another form leading to its weathering or disintegration. So these are all four, you know, uh, chemical weathering, hydrolysis, carbonation, hydration, oxidation, and reduction. So ultimately what do we get? We get due to the process of, you know, this passive and active factors of soil formation, we get different types of soils. For example, we get red soils, alluvial soils. So the process, that means climate relief, parent material, organic time acts on the rocks and minerals through the process of additional losses, leaching, redistribution, and transformation. These are all soil processes, though, and they make different types of soils. And ultimately, we get red soils, alluvial soil, black soils. So this is, this is the way soils are formed. So what I'll tell you now, I'll just tell you different pedogenic processes. What are those processes that helps in soil formation within that, you know, weathering of rocks and minerals? So after the acting of those passive active parts, what happens? So different pedogenic processes, remember this causing soil differences and <coughs> additions. Additions mean deposition. Addition means add or So what are those additions? Means deposition. Wind or water addition soil materials and uh, littering is accumulation of organic materials in the soil. This is called addition. That means deposition or littering, that process of perigen process leads to additions. The losses, losses, what is leaching? You know, leaching is a process of, you know, leaching down the profile loss of nutrients in the level of, you know, soluble materials through water in the profile. It's also leaching. Then erosion, removal of, you know, surface layer through the action of water, wind. This is called, you know, leaching so when you talk about this pathogen processes as so addition leaching apart from that when it's lost from the surface somewhere it will be there no it cannot where it will be it will not go to the space somewhere somewhere it will be added in the surface that is distribution means if there is something happening in the cell profile definitely it will go and distributed somewhere so redistribution process are categorized in different categories one is alluvation Next is illuviation, then pedoturbation, then salinization, then alkalization. So these five things, you know, alluviation. Alluviation means movement of metal out of the zone. So A horizon to B horizon, B to C, like that. Alluviation, movement from one horizon to another. 
then elucubration is movement of material into a zone okay elucubration out of a zone elucubration into the zone so that means that deposition then pedoturbation biological or physical mixing of soil mixing of turbation mixing of the soil then salinization as i told you earlier also when you talk about electrical conductivity salinization is the process of accumulation of salts then alkalization accumulation of sodium mostly sodium is present in all alkali soils rich in sodium very dispersive in nature ph is very high more than 8.5 so this pedogenic process or this redistribution is further categorized in you know, these things then transformations because i talk, talked about four categories addition losses redistribution and transformation in transformations weathering means changes due to exposure of climatic elements decomposition second breakdown of minerals and organic materials humification carbon conversion of organic material into humus remember these are all you know definition small definition but that will help you to understand some of the things and mineralization release of mineral constituent from organic that means process of decomposition one type of you know from organic form to inorganic form you know and release of mineral constituents from organic matter that's that is mineralization then synthesis means formation of new mineral or organic species isn't it hope you understand these things so before that's what actually this subject you know this process of soil genesis or soil formation very much important and you get some questions you know one or two questions any competitive exams what are the passive factors of soil formation what are the active what is elucubration what is elucubration what is pedoturbation then what is salinization what is alkalization you know and decomposition humification what what is mineralization what is synthesis uh what is leaching what is erosion so if you know this basic concepts so this will help you you know um in any uh, competitive exams you know or uh, at least you will get from factors of uh, soil formation who you know even you'll get the scientist name like jenny you know something like that um uh, i talked sorry i talked about um, uh hans jenny so who actually coined this you know the concept of soil genesis so friends um, i am stopping here this is small you know section uh, you know about formation of soil we will move to the next you know session uh, what is you know maybe we we'll talk about once the soils are formed what type of soils are formed it is red soils alluvial soils so we'll talk about indian context what are those types of soils or indian soils and soils of india so keep watching and uh, thank you uh, for uh, listening to me and uh, watching me carefully and definitely i hope uh, this will give you a good idea and concepts you know clear some of the things so i am also getting you know people are our students they want me to give some precisely some other uh, subjects of soil science that i will cover definitely yes i will cover so keep listening take care of your health in covid uh, pandemic time and keep listening to my channel and learn something you know clear your concept and uh, have a great day thank you very much